If you're a content creator on YouTube, I'm gonna show you the app that could change everything. I'm next. Hey, it's Low Flow Nose, and this is the place where I help content creators just like you get better every single day through audio, video, and tech while also having some fun too. So go ahead, hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out on any future helpful videos. And if you learned something new today, go ahead, hit that like button. Okay, guys, so the app that's going to change everything for you when it comes to content creation is the YT Studio app. Go ahead, download it on your respective platform. But guys, this app is a game changer. Let's get straight into it. Right now we're looking at our dashboard and you get some basic general information off the bat. Your, your subscriber count, your analytics such as watch time, use subscriber change, and also your estimated revenue if you're a, within a partnership program. Now, keep in mind, remember back just a couple of months ago when YouTube, they changed the, the requirements to become an, a, a partner with the partnership program where you needed 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours, a rolling, uh, rolling 4,000 hours yearly in order to stay within the partnership program. You can see all of this information off the bat and this gives you a summary of what you're doing within the past 28 days. Now, if we scroll down even more, we see our three most recent videos that we have uploaded onto YouTube. And it gives us some general information such as how many views, likes, comments, likes, dislikes, and so on. And also tells you if your video is currently being monetized. Even further down, we'll see our three most recent comments when it comes to our channel. Now, this is huge when it comes to helping your channel with engagement and also watch time. Let me explain. Before in the past, we'd always have like these bot channels just trying to get views from viewers, no matter how long they were watching, just so these channels get paid. Now, YouTube has changed all of that. While yes, you still can get paid from getting views, having people bail early on your videos will overall hurt your video and hurt your channel. And of course, if you were to go into every channel and spend maybe, I'm sorry, go into every video and spend maybe like 20 or 30 seconds replying to a comment, that would show as you bailing out on your video even earlier. So it would help you and your channel to respond to them and engage with them right through this app. Yes, you could do it through the normal YouTube app, but you would be going in, going into the video, the video would start up, you would comment and then you would leave and it would show that, that in the analytics that someone bailed out of your video just like that, so it's not gonna work. So use this feature to keep the engagement going with your viewers and keep the watch time higher on your videos. All right, so let's go back up to the top and let's get even deeper into these settings. Now, as you can see, the dashboard shows our analytics, videos, and comments. And if we go to the top, the three lines, we, sh we see that we have the videos, playlists, comments, and anal analytics in their own individual section, but we can access all of that directly from the dashboard. So let's go to view more within our analytics. Here you can see we get even deeper. Real-time views, real-time views from last published videos, our watch time, views, duration, revenue, and you can go to the top and get even more in-depth on the revenue of what your channel is doing. You can check out the discovery. Who's searching you? Who's finding you? What kind of audience, new audience are you bringing in? Is it from YouTube search? Is it from suggested videos? Or is it from external? And you can see all the percentages from that information. You can see who your audience is. You can, you can really use all of these things to kind of tweak and understand what is happening with your channel. Let's go back to the dashboard. And then we'll dive deeper into the videos. And once again, you see the videos of the order of which they were uploaded in. Let's go ahead and pick a video and we'll go into it. And from the top, you have a lot of options. You can either play the video from the top or you can go to the edit mode. And you can either edit the thumbnail that is already there. You can change the thumbnail that's right here. Maybe you created a thumbnail on your phone. You can load it into right here. Or you can save the thumbnail that's actually from YouTube and save it onto your phone. You have monetization options right here where you can actually click on or, or select the type of monetization that you want in your videos. The only thing you can't do here is create mid-roll ads. That's something that you have to do within desktop. Okay. You have more analytics for that specific video. And if you wanted to, you could d dive in even deeper on that particular video to see the specific analytics of that video. Where are they bailing out in your video? Who's watching it? How much has this particular video done even more? Who's discovering this video? What is your audience for this video? Guys, this app is a game changer when it comes to everything. Of course, if you wanna go back to your dashboard, we can do the same with the comment section. We'll dive even deeper in the comment section. 
and you can just spend all day long just replying to your viewers and really having a great time engaging with them. Now guys, I want to be frank when it comes to this, all right? We all know that they say, look at your analytics to improve your channel. So you have an idea of what's going on with your channel so you can improve it. I'm gonna be serious. I'm not gonna spend four or five or six hours in front of my computer trying to study and wrap my head around YouTube analytics. That's just not gonna happen. But I will tell you something, we are all day and every day throughout the day on our mobile devices. So I'll take the two or three minutes in multiple spurts throughout the day to learn and absorb the analytics of my channel like we do with everything else, like with all of social media. So during this time, I'm like, wow, okay, I need to make these tweaks or changes to my videos. They're bailing out on my videos at this time. I'll get into the analytics. I'm not gonna be doing it for like four hours or two hours in front of my computer. I'll do it in bite-sized bite chunks on my phone. So guys, like I said before, if you're trying to change everything for your channel, definitely download the YT Studio app onto your mobile device in your respective platform and start getting involved with your channel and understanding the analytics in a very nice, convenient place so you can start engaging more with your audience and understanding the, what value your channel is bringing and what tweaks you need to make to your channel to really take it to the next level. All right, guys, Y2 Studio app, download it right now. Guys, if you find this video helpful, go ahead, leave a like if you loved it. Feel free to subscribe. Comments, questions, or concerns, you know where to leave it, down below in the comment section. And as always, feel free to hit me up on my social media, Low Nose Media, and also get together with content creators just like you for a little collaboration on Discord at Low Nose. No, Low Nose at Low Nose, whatever. Ugh. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.